Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 1-2 cash games. The buying for this game is $200. Uh, face the 4-bet. Some jamming here, not doing this every time, but we will jam it in this time. Snapped off, not good. They have jacks. We got 33%, 86 on that flop. And get very fortunate after getting in way behind. Uh, here we get 4-bet, just going to flat. Check the 7 6 four. If there's a flush out here, I would probably check jam. I think on a non flush draw, I'm just going to call if they bet. Especially in a four bet pot. I mean, I guess we do have to worry about like ace five suited some. I'm trying to think if I have jams, make sure that over here is call off. Nope, we're just going to call. Check the six turn. Going in there, time bank a bit. Snap it off. Aces, kings. What a cooler. Wow. So I was going to get that one in pre. Ends up working out anyways. And we get it all in pre post flop. All right. So we get three back call here. And go ahead and call. Two on the turn. Check, check, or go for small bet here. I'm going to go for a small bet. And then we'll check river. Ooh, they jam. All right, did not want that. So I think we're going to fold now. I was planning on checking back. But lead jams, we'll let it go. Uh, Grish asked us the minimalist design sort of ticket. Uh, I'm actually hoping to go away from it. I've been having some issues with my PC shutting off, so I've been trying out a few new things, um, suggestions I've been given from different people to uh, try and figure out what's going on with like the and stop it from freezing. So here we have button open. We're going to three bet to get called at the flop here, top, top. They're a bit shallower as well here, so if they call, we'll be looking at right at just over pot behind. Um... I mean, it's a bit scary because it's definitely hits the two pairs from straights, but I think the SPR where it's at, hope they call off like a queen jack, queen 10, spades, and stuff like that. So we'll get it in with ace jack, even if it doesn't feel thrilling. Ah, 10 9. See, that's the problem. They're going to have some two pairs they turn there. Pretty annoying, but I think still fine in GM when the SPR is 1 to 1. And unfortunately, lose that one. So it just calls here. King 10 8, go for big bet. Calls 10 on the turn here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check the turn. And then depending on what size you use, smaller size we just call. It's a really bad river. Um, I think if I bluff, yeah, I'm going to go for bluff catch here. Kind of sick of he jams, but others otherwise just call pretty quickly. We do beat hands like king, queen, small, but just going to call quickly. Lose the jack 10. So I have the trips. Feels like we kind of lost the middle in there though. So here we open on the gun. Small blind, three bets. We call. We flop top, top, backdoor spades here. And go for the call. Two on the turn. And on this wet of a board, I probably am going to get this in if they bet the turn. So there's lots of draws, straight draws, flush draws that can call off still. Or we can make charge pay for it. So yeah, we're just gonna get this in. Obviously, we just get cooler by overpair sometimes, but I think getting this in completely fine. And we just see the full ace jack takes it down. So time to put in a little friendly four bet. Cut off first button with kings. Let's see a call. And go for bet here if the overpair queen eight three two diamonds. Jams call kings and ace queen looking for a hold cooler flop. Nice. Kings are good. Uh, limp here. Going to call eights in the big blind under the gun. Limped. Uh, flop the over pair. Six, four, four. Start with a check here. Um, if this goes bet and then fold, I'll probably get it in versus the stack size. So we're going to see what Burnt does here against pot. He's going to have to play pretty honest versus pot. So yeah, we'll just get this in versus the shorter stack here. So they only had like 30 blinds back. So we'll get it in. And they call with twos. Nice. Eights are good. So here we three bet jacks get called. We're going to check the flop. Queen six five. Bet small here from Cold Biscuit. We call two of spades turn check. 
And then that's a river card. All right, river the set, go for a big bet. Try and target his queen X that checks back, turn some. And get the value, nice. Good pot there for us, good verse. Ace jack a club, so he river to jack. Missed the flush draw. So yeah, cut off open here, three bet the button. And get the call, five, three, three, go for bets. Two spades turn, I'm gonna check the turn, especially deeper here. But um, if they check here, I think pretty clear bet. It is sick if they check raise. So the main hand I'm trying to target here is like pocket jacks, um, pocket nines. Nines, eights of the spades, stuff like that. But we do get the value with queens. I've opened three bets, uh, put in the cold four here. See the call. Start with a quarter pot here on the jack eight, eight. Six turn, checking turn. So if we face small, but I'm going to call one. Half pot, I might fold. They'll call like third. Uh, River's kind of a weird one for us. I think if I bluff or just try to check down. I think I'm going to check here. I might bluff like ace-queen. Check ace-king. I mean, when I check here, though, I am playing to fold if he bets. Uh, so what kind of value hands could I have here? I could have pocket tens. Um, even queens might. Uh, yeah, I guess queens no diamond. I might actually check here to check call. Queen Jack suited. So yeah, I'm still gonna have some calls here, so I'm not afraid of always folding here, but we'll fold Ace King this time. So we open button, small line three bets, put in the four bet. See the call. Jack nine six, pretty wet board here. Go for a bet. See the call six on the turn. Um, I think we still bet the turn as well, so we go for quarter again. And then obviously calling if he jams. If he doesn't have like a 7-6 suited or 5-6 suited, that'd be pretty brutal. And then 9 river. Uh, trying to think if I still jam this here. Check. <laughs> Nitty check. Ah, 10-9, no! Bad river card there, unfortunately. We were setting up pretty well for the river. But yeah, I, I think that's part of the reason why we don't want to jam there, because we're definitely going to have hands like 9-8 suited, 10-9 suited. So go for the 3-bet. And they decide on a call. Queen-Jack-2, go for big bet. And if we get called, 10-9 ah, comes in. It's under pot to go, though. I think we still jam this one, even though it's not the perfect turn card. Try and target like a king queen, ace queen, king ten type of stuff. Really wish that was a seven instead of an eight. And we get called by ace queen. Really good shape there. And we do hold. Nice little cooler. Let's see the fold. King queen over here. We open flat. Big blind squeezes. Call on the button here. And we flop a queen. Also an ace out there though, unfortunately. And the bet's pretty big. I think we still call one. And then take the turn, 9 the turn. And I'd probably start folding turn if they bet turn. They check, though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check. That's a good river. And then if we get check 2, I think we can jam this. And if they bet small, we obviously get it in. So checks, and yeah, I'm going to go for the jam here. Basically just say we're repping a queen. If I had like a low frequency flat with eight ace king, I could jam that too if I decide not to bet turn. So this would be a jam. So I could turn like seven six into bluff if I decided to. Um, if I had like maybe a king jack, king ten, and decide not to bet turn. Could be kind of using those as well. But we jam it in. They have ace jack, king queen, getting paid. Very fortunate river card. All right, YouTube, that's the end of another cash game video, and we do book a small win here today. So six-hour stream, 2,746 hands, plus $27.
Also got $330 of the rake back, so it does push our profit in the cash game and rake back category over $6,000 for the year. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the hands. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.